Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Today we want to construct polygon. It's an aspect of Tinker drawing also. And what's a polygon? A polygon is a quadrilateral, or a polygon is a plane figure that is bounded by what three or more straight equal line. Right? Now we have series of polygons. One of the polygons we have is an equilateral triangle. Because it has three equal sides. Equilateral triangle. Number two, we have a square. A square which has four equal sides. Number three, we have a pentagon. A pentagon is a polygon that has five equal sides. Number four, an hexagon. An hexagon is a polygon that has six equal sides. Number five, heptagon. Heptagon is a polygon with seven sides. Number six, we have octagon. Octagon is a polygon with eight sides. Number eight, we have nonagon, which is a polygon with nine sides. Ten decagon, which is a polygon with what? Ten sides. So this is what we have. But now we want to use general method to draw these polygons this general method can construct any kind of polygon and i want you to pay attention as i take you down the memory lane now let's start so we want to construct a polygon of size what 30 millimeter so we're going to start with what with a square so what i'll do is i'll draw a line this way And I'll mark a point on that line, the first point, let's say at this point, I'll say this is my point A, right, and I'll measure 30 millimeter. So with the help of my C square or my meter rule, I'll measure 30, so this is 30 here, and I'm going to pick in it, that is point B. So I'm going to thicken it. Now, the next thing I'll do is, with the help of my C square, I'll stand it on my T square this way, and I'll move it to my point A. I'll take it up, and I'll move it to my point B. I'll take it up. Right? So with the help of my compass, placing it at point B to A, which we say it is 30, right, I will strike up here. And I also place it here also at point A, I will also strike up. Or I will just take my T square and move it to this point here. From this point, I will take it, taking it to this point here. So I've got in my A, B, this point will be my point C, and here will be my point D. So I'm going to take in this part of it all. So, from here to here, I have this, and from here to here, I have this. So this is my square, the first one. Now, I will I draw the next one to the pentagon. This is what I will do. I am going to draw a diagonal line that is going to cut through D and what? A. Let me enlarge it so you see what I'm talking about. Right? So I'm going to draw a line through D and A. This is my diagonal. Right? And I will place my compass at B with radius A and I'll draw an arc like this. You can see that? I'll take the same thing to A and repeat the same process. Right? So where the line cuts this point here will be my point six. Where they meet, you what? My point six. Then 
with the help of my set square standing it up this way I'll draw a line that will pass through six can you see the six just a straight line right so where the line cuts my diagonal will be my point four all good now I am going to bisect four and six to get point five so with the help of my compass I play it at four and six, right? And I will strike an arc like this, the left and the right hand side, with the same radius. I play it at six. I will cut that arc I striked here and here. So the two part the arc strike at this point here and at this point here. I'm going to join them using my meter rule here to here like this so where they cut here is my point five all good so from point six and five or four and five any of the two from these two points here I will start moving up to get 7, to get 8, 9, 10, and so on. So this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, this is 10. Now if I want, even if I go down a little bit here, if I want um, the 5 side, the 5 side pentagon, I place it at point five. Take it to point A. You can see. Then I'll draw a circle like this. That is the first step. So we said a polygon is a plane figure that has equal sides. So what are one of the sides of my polygon here? AB is what thirty. So I'll measure the thirty, right? And I'll mark. On that circle here one I'll come here and mark also two and I'll place it at this point I mark on the circle I'll get the other part here and get the other part here Sorry. right so where they meet I am going to join the points together mm? join you to you I will also join here to you. This to this. And this to this. It must be inside the circle. It must be where? Inside the circle. So I have successfully drawn my pentagon that have five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Now if I want my triangle. If I want my triangle with this same distance here, this 4 and 5, I can just mark downward here. Right? So the help of my compass, let me say this is my point 3. So let's say my compass. I'll place it here. And I'll take it to point A. And I'll draw my circle. Right? So, with distance of AB, I'll mark on the circle which will give me at this point here. So, where they meet, I'll have my triangle. Right? That is my triangle. Now, we'll go to the next one which is 6. Placing my compass at point 6. I'll take it to A, right, and I'll draw my circle, right, with the same distance 30, I'll mark on my circle round, this is 2, 3, 4, 
and so on. So I'll join those points together between here and here. I have this. There's one. This is two. Then this point says three. Four. Five. Six. That is the sixth part of it. Right? But all of them are having the same base. I will together now. A B. Now the next one is seven. I place it at point seven. I'll go to point A. Right? Go to point A. And I'll draw my circle. So the radius of what? A B a mark round this will be one right from a here this will be two this will be three right so i place that a at b here i'll mark one i'll come here again two i'll come and mark three right come at a Mark one. I come here to a mark also at this point two. Right? So I'll take my um pencil now join those points together you to this point. Right? Then to this point too to this point too to this point too to this point too then to the next one so this is seven side if you count one two three four five six seven now you move on if i want eight sides right if i go to the eighth part of it i'll place it here take it to a right and i'll draw my circle it doesn't stop if i go to a take the same measurements here i'll get my my eight sides if I want 9, I'll place that 9, I'll go to point A, I'll do the other circle, I'll get my 9. That's how I will continue to get my points. So I will end, I'll end up having this. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So we've gotten this triangle, equal side, square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching.